Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you some of the secrets of Spotlight. Now, for most of you, I'm guessing that when you go up to Spotlight and just by clicking the magnifying glass in the corner of your screen, to search for something you'd probably type something like Apple. And you'd look for your results from there. Uh, but that's not all Spotlight can do. There's a lot of functions with it that Apple doesn't really talk about. But they make Spotlight a really powerful search tool and much more powerful than it appears on the surface. So let's start off right away with a keyboard shortcut. Now to access Spotlight, instead of going up and clicking the magnifying glass, uh, what you can do is you can hit Command Spacebar and it'll bring up Spotlight and you can start typing so you don't have to move your mouse all the way up there and click. So that's pretty nice. Now from here of course you can search normal things like once again Apple, but you can also put things in quotes and when things are in quotes, uh, it restricts the search. So first of all, if I search something like Apple computer, anything that has the word Apple and computer in it can show up here in the list. But if I put quotes around the words Apple computer, now the documents or whatever that shows up has to have that phrase in the search. So you're not going to get results that have just the word Apple somewhere and then just the word computer. Uh, you're gonna have you're gonna get that exact phrase, so that's handy. You can use some different words to separate your searches as well, and those are and, not, and or, and you have to type these all in caps. So the first of all, the one that's and, and is what you're normally going to see. So if I would type in Apple computer, same thing as typing in Apple and computer. Uh, you're going to get the same results if you do that. But if you type in Apple or, and once again in caps, computer, you're going to get results that have the word Apple or computer in them. You can see when I search for Apple, the top hit is Apple Script Editor. Now let's say I don't want Apple Script and I want something else. So I can type in Apple not script and it'll give me not that result. So now I won't see anything with script in it. So you can see how that kind of works. Another powerful thing is I can use kind and then a colon and then right after that type whatever kind of document or whatever I want. So if I type kind colon app, now it's going to show me a list of applications and they're in order of recently used. Or I could do kind font, now it's going to give me a list of different fonts. This works for pretty much anything, so I can even do uh, kind folder and it'll give me a list of folders. The possibilities of using kind are pretty endless. You can do that for aliases, apps, audio, Safari bookmarks, contacts, emails, folders, fonts, events, images, movies, PDFs, etc, etc. It keeps going on. Uh, I can also do the same thing with name, colon, Firefox. I'm, I'm only going to get results with the name of Firefox. So you can see it just shows me Firefox and then the Firefox uh, application that I have on my iPod. I can do the same for created if I want to find documents that were created on a certain date. So I can type in created and I'm going to do colon and then just for example 61811. So now it's going to search everything that was created on today and it's going to list those all off here in order of when you last opened them or were they, when they were last created rather. I can do the same with the date, so if I type in date and I put a specific date, it will give me things created on that date. I can also use less than or greater than to specify uh, before or after a certain time. Another cool thing if you're looking for music, you could type in audio bitrate and then colon and let's say I want 256. It shows me all the songs with that audio bitrate. Same for composer. So if I type composer, so now there's songs with composer of Metallica. I can do some things with photos too, so I can type ISO and then maybe I want ISO of 100. It'll show me all the pictures taken with ISO of 100, so that's cool. Uh, I can do calculations on here too, so instead of having to go to Dashboard to open up a calculator or even going to open up the calculator application, I can go to Spotlight and I can type in something like 6 plus 2, 6 plus 8, let's say times parentheses 9. And now you can see it did the parentheses that way. I can do powers as well, so I can do 6 to the 8th power, and then you can see that. Pretty much any math function that you do on the calculator application, you can do it here. And then when I hit enter, it pops open calculator. 
if I want to. I can do definitions too from dictionaries. So if I type in apple, let's say, uh, you can see right here definition and hit enter. It'll pop open dictionary and from here I can see the definitions of apple. And also if I was searching for let's say apple, if I go up and I want, instead of opening something, I just want to see where it's located in the finder. Well, first of all, if I hover over, hover over it, it'll show the path or for definition, it'll show the definition. But if I command click on it, then it opens up the folder where it's located and shows me it right there. So that's handy. And also, if I want to skip down different categories, you can see I have top hit definitions, applications, etc. I can hold down command and use the up and down arrows to switch to different categories. So that's neat as well. So those are just some of the kind of hidden features within Spotlight. And if you and if you utilize these to their full capabilities, Spotlight can be a really, really advanced searching tool and almost as advanced as searches within macOS itself uh, in a finder window where you can have all these different kinds, last open dates. You can make it almost as powerful as that without having to go through all the trouble of entering all those things. So I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.